he's passed out. Like, what are you guys doing here? I mean, you're for, you you are married. Why are you out here with your side pieces? I I think it was like a year in because we were around each other I think we were around each other for two years and then we were together for maybe a year and a half I want to say that yeah I think that's what it was like we were we were around each other for two full years and then a year and a half was when we were actually physically together in a relationship and all that good stuff but like I don't know I think um, that was one of the hardest relationships that I was in because looking back now, I can see that I just wanted to be in a relationship just to be in a relationship and I could have stopped it. I caused myself a world of hurt, but I could have stopped it. I could have stepped away and be like, mm, no, this ain't it. Just little things that he would do, like, you know what I mean? My friends never liked him. Even the ones that aren't my friends today, they never liked him. They just didn't like how he was moving. And maybe they saw things that they weren't telling me or they saw things that they don't know if they could tell me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I literally, you you gotta understand that here we are in society where they're telling you, you, you gotta do this to get a man. You gotta do this to keep a man. This is what you have to do if you're a nice woman and all that stuff. Yeah. Listen, as of right now, if anyone approaches me telling me that they want to be with me, you got to be with me for me. I can't do anything for you. I really cannot. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't do anything for you. Like, okay. <laughs> so anyways, fast forward. Like, I'm, I'm going off topic. Fast forward to, what time is it? To... We, let me see, so maybe a year in now, we're in this relationship, we're talking about kids, we're talking about moving in together, I mean, I'm mostly talking about this, these are things I'm talking about, so I'm not gonna say we're talking about, I'm key, I'm the one that's talking about this, because these are the things that I want, and I, I get, like, I hear conversations about, you know... I don't think it's right. I don't think this is the time. Yeah, stuff like that. Typical stuff that, you know, you push aside, you push aside, you push aside. And I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm like, all right. But I will tell you, I was a very supportive girlfriend or girl, chick, whatever. I was a very supportive girlfriend. He told me that he wanted to, um, Oh, Lord. He wanted to become a police officer. This is what he said to me. And I'm like, do you have your gun license? No. Like, your firearm license. He's like, no. I was like, so why don't you? Are you taking courses? No. Why don't you? You know, most police officers start at, you know, some start out as security guards and others go straight to the academy. What are you doing? You know, he keeps telling, he keeps putting, like, there's a bunch of excuses and stuff like that. So, it's like, yo, go get your license because I want to go to the gun range. Go get your license and we can figure that out. Like, you know what I mean? So, you applied for his license. He did that. He really wanted to be a police officer. So, I was like, yo, pick a region that you want to work in or you want to apply for and just apply. Like, just apply. Like, you know what I mean? That turned into this whole thing, child. Listen, I all met his friends. I, I don't like nothing about this man's... <laughs> I don't like his friends. Like... <sighs> Listen, I'm going to have to regroup, okay? This might just be a part one because I'm going to have to regroup or a part two. I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to regroup because there's so much in between. There's so many different things. You don't need to know what all the nitty gritty and all the dirty details, but like, yo, he just, he, to me, he was a guy that followed, like followed, 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 followed. If they're not doing it, he can do it type deal. Like, and to me, that's like, no, if you want to be a police officer, you do what you need to do. You might have to make some sacrifices, but you do what you need to do. But it's like, he let his friend talk him out of it. Me and this man 
got the application, talked about it. And then I pulled up to his workplace and I see his friend applying to become a police officer, like applying. And I was like, oh, and he was talking and he was like, yeah, you know, I'm planning to do this. And I was like, that's interesting. The reason why I say it was interesting because the day before this man, my man is telling me that he don't want to be a police officer no more. Child, you got the wrong kind of people around you, baby. The wrong kind. But anyways, but I'm going to be honest with you. I was supportive with this man. Completely supportive. I, um, <laughs> I helped him get a couple of jobs that he had. There was one particular one that was a good step up for where he wanted to go. And you know why he no longer has that job? Bad attitude, okay? Bad attitude. What else? I don't even know. Like, I met his friends. I started to meet his family. I met his mom. Um, I don't know. I will say that because I was blinded by the fact that I wanted to be in a relationship, it kind of just, it clouded my judgment a lot with a lot of things. And I'm telling you, like, me and this man were looking at apartments to move in together, like, for at least six months out of the last year we were together, we were looking, I all had the deposit check full amount, everything ready to go. Looking at places, looking at different apartments or whatever. And in the midst of all of that, when we were at this one place, right? In the midst of all of that, this man is gonna look at me and tell me he doesn't think that we should move in together because he can't afford, <laughs> he can't afford to contribute. That's what he said to me. So I said to him, I'm like, if that's how you felt, why didn't you say something when we started this discussion? Now you gotta understand, I know I said that I was having these discussions. He was also having these discussions with me. You know why? Because he was sending me stuff. This man was baiting me. He was sending me apartment buildings or places where he wanted to live. You see what I'm saying? These are the things that he was doing. So it was like, all of a sudden, now you don't want to? Like, what the hell is going on? This is what I'm saying. Like, what's happening? What's going on, yo? <laughs> Listen here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen to me. Okay? You see that moment when he did that? I think that's when everything went downhill. All the stuff just started to, like, trail because... I didn't see him much anymore. Like, I saw him, but it was like I wasn't really seeing him. You know what I mean? When I used to go to these parties, he would tell me that he, he wasn't going to go. And then magically appeared in the corner with his friends and family. And I was just like, oh, that's very interesting. Okay. But, I mean, I was still doing my thing. I didn't really care. But, you know, I was like, all right, no problem. But it was like it went on a really steep decline where it's like I felt like I was fighting for something that was no longer there and my mom pulled me aside and my mom's like well you know when when guys are no longer coming around or their, their attention is no longer here it just means that there's somebody else in the picture or they're doing something else like they're not interested anymore they're doing something else so you need to focus on you this is what my mom said to me she's like you need to focus on you Child. it's the decline of our relationship I mean it was garbage from the get-go, but it just went down. I, I did. I loved him. I'm never going to say I didn't love him. I cared about him a lot. I really did. Like, I really did. Like, I was willing to fight for this man, not no woman. But, like, when his friends were doing stupid stuff, I would stand up. You're letting them do crap? Like, that don't make no sense. Like, you know what I mean? They all told him that I was crazy. Because one night we went out, and I was completely wasted. And in that moment, he was also wasted. So I was really upset about that. And they said that they were going to take me home. I was saying to them, take me to my house. This is what I was saying. Take me to my house. And he could go home after. Right? 
they ended up taking us to his house which i'm fine with but they made pit stops on the way and i'm just like yo bro i want to go to bed he's passed out like what are you guys doing here i mean you're you you are married why are you out here with your side piece this i was going off and i'm like you're married you have a relationship and none of these bitches are your wife or your girlfriend like what the hell is this what y'all do on a regular day so i know they don't like me okay i'm not child so anyways we <laughs> listen i started seeing him less really like I used to see him often throughout the week, during the week, whatever. What was it? First of all, right? I got my car when I was in a relationship with him. I think that's when the decline happened. I got my car when I was in a relationship and he helped me pick out my car. Like I like I knew what car I was gonna go for, but he went with me to get my car, right? My good old Marcus, my baby, that's my boo. He ain't pay nothing, he ain't give me no money. That's my car, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so when I started when I started driving now, so then I started going up by him and seeing him. So he wasn't coming down, but I was going up. And then I don't always want to drive, so whatever. But it always seemed like he was picking fights. Like there was always a fight. Like, oh my gosh, you always do this. Oh my gosh, why? Oh my gosh, this. And I'm just like, yo, out of nowhere. Like, okay. So I'm nagging, no problem. I'll stop nagging, whatever, right? But anyways, <laughs> once I started driving, I had my own independence, so I didn't really need him for his vehicle. Not that I was using him for that, but I didn't need him to take me anywhere or anything like that. Um, I don't think he even offered. There's been times where, I mean, my friend got sick when we were at a party and he came for us and took us out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i had an emergency appointment at a doctor he came for me he brought me home i mean shit that you're supposed to do as a man like i don't think i should be begging for you to do shit like that like that's just my opinion but whatever so anyways um he's i started seeing him less we just weren't on the same page anymore or anything like that so it was just weird so anyways fast forward to the breakup <laughs> Thank you.